I love Disney. It's everything that could ever be so popular as it is today. I've been in love with everything related to Disney ever since I started watching him as a kid. From the day Disney started to the movies we have today, although one of my all-time favorite favorites of all Disney movies was Tarzan. Tarzan was a Disney movie that was made in 1999, and I was at least 9 years old when that movie came out. I remember watching that movie from the theaters to watching it on VHS to DVD, because now these days, DVDs is what we have. Although I have discovered a more darker ver dark version of this movie back in 2016, I wish I could see it again and compare to this version that I saw with the Tarzan movie that we got today. If you don't know what Tarzan is, then let me fill you out. Tarzan was based on a novel by Edgar Rees Burgum. He wrote an entire series of 24 books. But now I have never read them, but I was so into his work of books that I just recently got started on to read the novels. And they're a lot more darker than the Disney Tarzan movie we got from Disney. And now into the event that happened to me. That made me look at Tarzan move, the Tarzan movie differently. It all started back in mid-2015, where I got a job at Best Buy during the summer, where phones, tablets, computers, and etc. were all sold along with extra stuff for those kinds of electronics. However, there were sometimes have some movies every once in a while come in the store, but mostly video games and game consoles. I wanted to work at Best Buy because my sister, who used to go there in her teens, would buy me movies whenever they had them, and video games. Now that she's 32 years old, she used to work at Best Buy when I was in high school, nearly my graduation year. But she ended up quitting her job for financial reasons. After I worked at Best Buy for a couple of months, it was April 2016 and I was really busy with my job. It was so tiring when my shift ended, I would never have the energies to do that I, that I like to do and even the things I wanted to do. Once in a while, I would sit on my couch and relax and watch a Disney movie, and that was the day I finally did so. It was Friday on that day, and I was having a stressful day at work, despite the customers being pushy and rude here and there, and I had to put up with. Luckily for me, it was my break time, so I drove out of the Best Buy Plaza and went to a restaurant. It was not far from where the pizza was for lunch. I walked inside Taco Bell for lunch, and it wasn't too busy, surprisingly. I ordered my food and waited, standing next to me me was a guy. He seemed to be around my age. He looked at me and I gave him a smile through my stressful thoughts going on in my head. Having a stressful day? He asked me as I turned to face him. Yeah, Best Buy could be filled with assholes that are pushy and rude, I replied with. We started a conversation when I finally got to see that he was from Best Buy. Do you work at Best Buy? I asked him, seeing that he was a Best Buy worker with a shirt named John on it. Yes, I am new here. I started working last month. I have seen you in Best Buy, and I think you're just very awesome at what you do. John replied as his food was ready at the same time as mine. We grabbed our food, and he offered me to have lunch with him, which, of course, I said yes to that. As we were eating our lunch, we talked about the things that we liked and disliked. And then when I mentioned Disney that I liked Disney movies, we talked into more details about those movies. When I said to John about Tarzan being one of my favorite Disney movies, I explained to him that I couldn't find, the find it on DVD anywhere. I tried ordering one online, but the DVD didn't work. Have you ever thought of buying a movie off of Google Play? John then asked me. I haven't bought a movie from Google Play before because I use iTunes for that. And I tried looking for the Tarzan movie there, but I couldn't seem to purchase it because my old iPhone phone was very old and didn't work much, very much anymore. Luckily, I got a new phone for Christmas, I replied to John, on who looked at me as Samsung, which I had the same phone as he did, with the cover of the back of my phone being blue, instead of another color. You should be able to get it on Google Play without a problem, and if you do, you could contact me on Best Buy and I could figure out the problem, John said as I finished my lunch and smiled at him before leaving the restaurant to go back to my car and head back to work. I smiled at John and thanked him before I left the restaurant. When I got home from work, my fiancé was doing was was working late on a night shift, so I went to my phone and went to the Google Play app. I searched up the Disney movie Tarzan, and I got a few results. I saw the one that was Tarzan movie that said Tarzan 1998. I was confused. Wait, wait a minute. It took me to realize that something was off. Tarzan came out in 1999, not 1998. 
I then did some research and said that the production of Disney's Tarzan was made sometime between 1997 and 1998, and then it was released in 1999. Maybe it was a pre-made version of it? I was still confused, but I, then I decided to look at the ratings of this weird 1998 version of Tarzan, and there were only two reviews, with the ratings of, being, of the movie being 1 out of four, 5 stars. I looked at the comments and one of them saying that it was way too dark, violent for kids. Another review said there was a lot more darker tone to it than the 1999 version. Even though the movie was dark anyway, at least it was semi-kid friendly. Or at least kid friendly mostly. I thought this movie was pre-made in 1998. I was, and I was lucky enough to see as the other people that reviewed the movie did as well. So I took a look at the cover. To my surprise, it was a special edition cover. It had Tarzan at the front with Turk, Jing, Tantor, and Kal Kala, and everything else that was on the cover. So I purchased the movie on Google Play. I waited for a few moments when I, when, the, when I went to play the movie from my phone. I plugged in my earbuds and sat on my couch with my phone in hand and started to watch the movie. To my surprise, most of the intro play normally. But when it comes to Kala and Kerchik walking up to Sabor, who is chasing their baby... The scene went out a little out of place. It seemed a lot longer than I thought. It showed the baby gorilla being killed by Sabor, having him sink his teeth into the baby gorilla. I thought there was going to be blood and gore, but thankfully there was no blood or gore. The, s the screen then just cuts to Kerchak and Kala, heartbroken, by the sight of their baby being killed. So far, the 1998 version of Tarzan was dark, but I knew that the 1999 version of Tarzan was dark anyway. But at least it was semi-kid friendly. I didn't expect Disney to go that dark. Maybe it was a pre-made version of the mo- Since this was a pre-made version of the movie, v, it didn't make it to the final project due to the violence that was in the movie. The scene where Kala saves baby Tarzan San being rescued by, by Sabor was all normal. No change whatsoever for at the thought of this movie was untouched at certain parts. However, when I got to the part where Kerchak and Kala were talking about baby Tarzan, things started to get weird. Kala, I cannot let you put our family in danger, Kerchak said to his mate. It was a scene where Kerchak wants Kala to take baby Tarzan back, but Kala refused. Does he look dangerous to you? Kala asked Kerchak as he then got really pissed off and roared at Kala, making baby Tarzan cry. He was just at a stance that he wanted to hit his mate. I was getting weirded out, and I thought Kerchak was going to hit his mate, but he didn't. Then he finally gave in. He can stay, Kerchak said to his wife, but that does not make him my son. Then, when the next scene cuts to Tarzan as a child, he was hanging around Turk, who is an ape friend to him. He then dares Tarzan to get the elephant hair, which that's where things started to get even more messed up. From here on, I was even more scared than anything about this point, when the elephants were freaking out as they when they fought Tarzan, was a piranha. Turk and his friends started stared at the scene for a few seconds as the elephant stampede started. Surprisingly enough, it was a little graphic, though the scene where the other gorillas in the jungle, at first the gorillas didn't know what was happening, until the elephants charged through the jungle. Everyone got out of the way just in time. At first everyone thought everyone was okay and away out of the stampede, but one of the baby gorillas was trampled to death by the elephants crushing it. I closed my eyes at this point. I can't have, have a look at what was bound to happen. I can hear the baby gorilla's cries as the elephants were crushing it. After the scene was over, Kerchak looked in horror along with the other gorillas in the sight of the dead body of the dead baby gorilla. I could see that Kerchak was sad and angry at the same time. All the other gorillas mourn over the loss of their dead baby gorilla that haven't had a chance to live a good life. The next scene cuts to Turk and Tantor, who fought Tarzan had died drowning while being trampled by the elephants. He then coughed. He's alive, Turk said while hugging her, her friend. Tarzan showed Turk that he got the elephant hair. I don't believe it. You got the hair? Turk was surprised that Tarzan did the dare without dying. Tantor was explained that he has got lots of hair when Kerchak's booming voice was heard. What happened? Turk Kerchak said in anger. Turk and Tantor stepped back as Tarzan walked up to the angry Kerchak. He explained that he was just playing with Turk and her friends. Tarzan then soon tried to apologize when, Tur when Kerchak snapped. You killed someone, he said with booming rage. But it was an accident, Tarzan replied. He was scared by the fact that Kerchak's yelling and anger were really scaring him. He didn't mean to kill someone, but Kala got to Tarzan's side and tried to defend him from the angry Kerchak. He's only a child, 
Kala said to Kerchek in Tarzan's defense. That's no excuse, Kala. You can't keep defending him like that, Kerchek said to his mate. He'll learn. Kala was then cut off by Kerchek's ranting. He'll never learn. He can never learn to be one of us, Kerchek snarled. That's because you never give him a chance, Kala replied with her voice now sounding firm. Give him a chance? Kerchek asked. He didn't care what Kala had to say about Tarzan only being a kid, even if he wasn't a gorilla. Kala, look at him. He'll never be one of us. Kerchek, Kala said to him as Tarzan, who felt hurt by the words Kerchek said about him, made him run off into, run away off from his adoptive mother and Kerchek. The film went nice and smoothly from the scenes showing Tarzan growing up as an adult. Even the song Son of Man, by, sung by Phil Collins, was in great quality. I loved hearing the songs by him. From, by him. Then we got to the see, to see Tarzan fighting Sabor successfully. Tarzan kills Hill Sabor to gain his trust from Kerchak, but however, for the Silverback still didn't trust Tarzan. Even if he were to kill a jaguar, that was a threat to the tribe. Then the next scene shows, shows where Tarzan spots Clayton and Professor Porter with his daughter Jane. That is when things got messed up. Jane goes off by seeing a, when a baby baboon stole her sketchbook and she tries to get it back. But the scene went very different after this line that was said by Jane. Come now, if nothing this. I want that paper on the count of three. One, two. Oh, look, bananas. This, this. Jane made the baby baboon look as Jane snatched the paper with one of her drawings. Then she was greeted by a whole bunch of baboons chasing Jane. Tarzan sees what's going on, so he swings on a vine so he can save her. Then he grabs her just by the time she was close to the dead end. The baboon, the baboon chase went on a little bit longer than expected. When Tarzan saves Jane from being mauled by the baboons, they started to attack each other. That is very creepy. Like, why would they talk, attack each other when they were supposed to be attacking Jane? Well, I don't know. So anyway, Tarzan got to a tree where he and Jane were safe. Hafe away after the chase ended. Tarzan then gets close to Jane, only curious about what, exactly what Jane is. He then took off her glove, and soon he realized that Jane is a human and that that he is one too. But Tarzan, who can't speak English, listened to Jane, saying, It's very nice. Tarzan then repeated what Jane said. She looked at... She was surprised to see that Tarzan was talking. He then stopped Jane, Jane from talking... Gaino used his ape language that he learned from the gorillas. Tarzan, he said. But at first, Jane didn't quite understand. Tarzan? Tarzan repeated his name again, and soon Jane got the idea. Tarzan is his name. Oh, I see, Jane replied. Then Tarzan repeated what Jane said. No, 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 no. <clears throat> I'm Jane. Jane introduced herself to Tarzan. No, 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 no. I'm Jane, Tarzan replied, even though he only repeated stuff in English. When Jane spoke to him, no, no. Jane sp stopped him for a moment so she can show Tarzan the better way to introduce herself to Tarzan. Jane, Tarzan, Jane, Jane replied as Tarzan repeated Jane's name when a gunshot from Clayton echoed throughout the jungle. Jane then asks Tarzan if he could take her to her camp, which Tarzan agrees. He picks her up, picks up Jane and swings for the jungles to take her to her camp. After Tarzan's animal friends trashed Jane's camp, Tarzan and Jane got to get to go, get to the camp. Jane was in a look of surprise. She saw gorillas. Gorillas, she said in amazement as as Tarzan was playing with Turk and along with, and talking like a gorilla. He's one of them? Jane was surprised to see that Tarzan was raised by gorillas. When Kerchak showed up, everyone left as soon as Clayton and Professor Porter walked up to the camp to see that Jane was unharmed. She then went on telling her friends and her father and Clayton about how she was chased by baboons and about Tarzan saving her. The next scene cuts to Kerchak warning the tribe about the humans that were strangers to them. But Tarzan argues a bit with Kerchak about the strangers that he met that they couldn't, they wouldn't, couldn't hurt them. But, Jane, but Kerchak, being overprotective, look, looked at Tarzan with a stern look. Protect his family and stay away from them. Tarzan, who felt like he was being treated like some soldiers, didn't want to listen to Kerchak. Even Kala told Tarzan just to do it for once. When Tarzan then showed up back at the camp to see Jane the next day, he met her father, Professor Porter, and Clayton, who they hired for protection. Jane introduced Tarzan to her father and Clayton, Clayton which 
Tarzan only said a few words in English. When Clayton asked Tarzan to take him to along with Jane and her father to see the gorillas, Tarzan couldn't speak English, so Jane suggested to teach him their language. As the next scene went on about Tarzan's new friends teaching him the life of what humans do, he learned a lot from Jane and Clayton the most, but mostly Jane. When the the song Strangers Like like Me was being played throughout the whole scene, which I enjoyed it very much since it was one of my favorite songs from the movie. When Tarzan grabbed... When Tarzan grabbed a handful of flowers, he was planning on giving them to Jane when he saw saw the commotion going on. People were moving crates and other stuff. Tarzan soon bumped into Jane, which she looked at Jane. Tarzan, I was wondering if you could come with us back to England, Jane asked Tarzan. When Tarzan was hoping they were just visiting and coming back to home to Africa tomorrow. But Jane tells Tarzan that she will not be coming back. So Tarzan keeps telling Jane to stay, but she keeps telling him that she can't stay. After telling Tarzan so many times she can't stay, she runs off from the scene crying. Clayton talks to Tarzan about taking him along with Jane and her father to see the gorillas. At first, Tarzan did not want to do that of what Clayton asked him, but he finally gave in and made an idea for his human friends to see the gorillas. Tarzan disguised Turk and Tantor as Jane and Professor Porter to lure Kerchak away from the nest of gorillas, which had worked for a while. When Tarzan took his friends to see the gorillas, including his mom, Kala, Kerchak finds out later that Tarzan betrayed him and his family. Kala then took Tarzan to the treehouse where she found him as a baby. Tarzan looked at the photo of his mother and father, and he soon realized that he was a human. So Tarzan decides to leave with Jane in the next day so he could be with humans like him. He said goodbye to Kala that night, which made me sad. I knew it... I knew what it was like to leave someone that you love behind, but even if I had reasons to do so. When the next scene transitions to the boat where Jane and her father Tarz- and Tarzan climbed on board, it was a trap. Clayton had planned to ca- on capturing the gorillas to sell them. Tarzan shouts loudly at Clayton as Tantor and Turk have found a way to swim across the- to the boat to save Tarzan and his friends. The movie went on smoothly as it can until the scene shows Clayton and his men attacking the gorillas and even Kerchek Chek was trying to protect his tribe. Tarzan along with his friends showed up and up to confront Clayton. However, this scene went a lot more darker than the Disney movie from 1999 that we have. When Tarzan shot when Clayton shot Tarzan, a loud gunshot ran loudly from my earbuds. Crap! That scared the living crap out of me. I then turned down the volume of on my phone so I can still hear the movie. When Kerchak roared in anger, he you, he ran toward, towards Clayton to attack him. Another gunshot rained, but it wasn't as loud as the first one was. The fight between Tarzan and Clayton went just as well as the original movie until it gets to the part where Clayton cuts through the vines to get Tarzan when he accidentally hangs himself. The camera then pans out more to the, onto the shadow of Clayton's dead body in the shadows. Usually I know that was very stir- that, that was disturbing, but other than that... I was fine with that since I've seen the original movie so many times. Tarzan is now seen with the dying Kerchak. The gunshot wound was shown on the silver back as, as, as the wound was a huge gash. And it was a bit too graphic. Too graphic that I felt a little sick to my stomach. But I ignored it and continued to watch the movie. Kerchak weakly looks at Tarzan with his last moments with him and everything else in the, and what else in the jungle. His breaths were raspy as Tarzan got close to Kerchak. Tarzan, Kerchak asked weakly. Kerchak, forgive me, Tarzan said to the dying tribe leader. No, Kerchak replied weakly. Forgive me for not understanding that you've always been one of us. Our family will look up to you now. Knowing how much this is tearing me up, I started to cry a little bit too. I lost my grandfather when I was 18 years old, and this reminds me of the tragedy I faced. No, Kerchak, Tarzan replied softly. Sadly, take care of them. Kerchak pleaded, my son. Kerchak, Tarzan held Kerchak's hands of the silverback's last dying breath. Take care of them. Kerchak then die, dies due to the wound being too much for him for the old silverback to handle. Tarzan then becomes the leader of the tribe, and the next scene show, cuts Jane and her father leaving on the life, lifeboat to the ship. Jane, who felt heartbroken, looked back at Tarzan to see him at the beach. She... She felt that her heart was really belonged to him. So her father said to join Tarzan in the jungle 
circle and stay. So Jane did so and the happy ending was all the same as the movie that I did know. After the credits, I was just speechless. I knew the movie was dark, but this version was a tad bit darker than the one that I know for a lot from the original film. It, it was late at night by the time the movie had finished, so I plugged in my phone and the charger and I went to bed that night. The next day I was getting ready for work, work when I just remembered the Tarzan movie from 1998 that I saw. I was a little freaked out, out about some of the scenes because they were too graphic for kids, so that they might be why Tarzan didn't come out in 1998. It would have scared the kids, and if it were the had those graphic parts and stuff like that. Dad, when I got to Best Buy, the worker John wasn't there, so I wondered to myself what could have happened to him. Sooner, soon or soon later after my shift, my boss told me that John had left his job for unknown reasons, so no one knows why. I didn't know why he left after, either. After my shift was over and I. Over, I decided to watch the 1998 version of Tarzan on Google Play when I got home. When I went on my phone to look up the 1998 version of Tarzan Zen movie, I couldn't find it. All I found was the original movie along with other Disney movies. I tried looking for it everywhere, but I had no luck finding it. So then I finally decided to look on recent purchases, but I couldn't find it there either. So then I wondered, did Google Play really take the movie down? Well, if they did, they would have had their done it for many reasons to begin with. But I still need to tend to hunt for it. But I still can't find it. Maybe if I ever come across the 1998 version of Tarzan someday, I hope I could see it one day, day, see it again, and one day show it to my sister. Now that it's 2019, I am still on the hunt for it, but I still can't find it. I tried everything, but I still can't find the 1998 version of Tarzan. If I were to ever find it again, I will let you all know.